Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. There is a giant update to the pen tool that I'm really excited about. This is going to be a quick video showing you. There's a share feature and there's a paste shared file feature. So what that looks like, by the way, we've made the switching much smoother so it's not glitchy or flickery anymore, which I love, um, really nice, okay. So here, let's say we want to share, uh, let's share Blender, because it's cool. All right, so we're going to copy. Yes, we want to copy. Uh, we can send it via email this way. If you do, the file looks like this. Uh, you can grab it, and you're just going to select all, copy, and then go back over here, and you can paste it in here with Control V, or you can click on this paste button. We're going to delete Blender. By Blender. Notice that Blender has the preset uh, Blender.i9. Now we're going to paste it in here. Notice that it launches it, which is really nice, super fast and easy. And the preset is called Preset Blender Shared Dash One Dot I9. This is so it doesn't copy over any of your uh, presets that you have. Uh, I recommend if you're sharing a preset with somebody, name it something different than the defaults. All right, this will have the buttons mapped to it, your settings mapped to it. All of that will transfer over for your friend. Um, and when you send this via email, again, if you click this, if you click no, it's just going to copy it to the clipboard. If you send this via email and you don't change the address, it will send it to me, presets uh, at tablepro.com, which is fine. Um, this is good for me to have. Just send it to me on purpose. All right, so these buttons here have been moved up and down, and they're going to go up and down further than they were before. Uh, it'll jump 25. Okay, if you select one of these, like um, OneNote has a bunch of different files, so you can see them right here with the down arrow. Everything that's named OneNote will show up here. That is based off this keyword right here. Everything has keywords in this build. You can, when you're right here, press Alt right and it'll open up that list of all the keyword related presets okay the second really big improvement in this build uh, which is 4.3 uh, here you have the option of doing mouse clicks with tap to unlock that means you can put the stylus on the screen okay so if we open up blender and we select right here. I'm gonna bring the stylus next to the screen. I'm, I'm going to press the side button. I can put the side button, I can put the pen down, the stylus down, and it will keep middle mouse button active until I lift up. Yay, that's awesome. You can do it right click and left click. Uh, that's a really great feature to do that. We will probably redo this some way uh, more intelligently in the future, but for right now, select any one of these modifiers click disable for the modifier and then select your mouse button right there okay here we've moved touch settings this is the touch mouse pointer the tablet pro desktop software this is the settings for that it will just open it uh, so you can have it naming has been redone here to make this easier to understand pen settings this main window that you see open right now is where i want uh, everyone to do the majority of their everything. So this is the hub. This is the main place to go. Pen settings. Touch settings. This is the Tablet Pro desktop software. Edit touch layout. It's the same as this layout editor button. Full screen mode. Artist pad. Labeled touch to indicate that it works with the touch software. If you don't have Tablet Pro desktop installed, the touch name means it needs that software. Updates to presets, also in the presets folder, and let's see if there's anything else. Um, win plus tilde uh, disables the fake cursor. There's tool tips for that now, and that'll make it uh, a little easier for you to, to use that. No one uses that except for me. I'm probably the only one who uses that feature. So uh, change to win plus tilde instead of, or win plus apostrophe, whatever. Um, it changed because it was a conflict in Outlook for voice dictation. All right, I think that's everything. So main thing, you can share presets now. It will auto-launch. There's no more Flickr, which is so cool. It looks so much better. 
Uh, we redid some of the UI to make it cleaner, added the share buttons, and you can now do tap to unlock for modifiers. All right, here is where I would like for you guys to support uh, what I'm doing. If you haven't bought the pen tool, please buy the pen tool. If you haven't bought Tablet Pro, please buy Tablet Pro. That supports me directly and my family and Takashi's family. And then if you guys have not rated the store app, uh, we get a lot of one-star ratings because it's uh, complicated or it doesn't work uh, on a system that it's not meant to work on. So I'm trying to get that up to four stars. So please write us here. That means the world to me. If you do that, I really appreciate it. And it should increase sales uh, with that rating being higher. If it was like 4.4, I think that a lot more people would buy. All right, you guys, that's it. Hopefully you guys like this update. Um, comment below and share this and share the tools with your friends and share the presets. And if there's any problems, send me an email. Don't put it in a rating. That doesn't help. That makes it harder. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a great day.